staying the course. President Obama responded to the attacks in Paris, determined to keep and expand his plan to defeat ISIS. There will be an intensification of the strategy that we put forward, but the strategy that we are putting forward is the strategy that ultimately is going to work. Uh, but as I said from the start, it's going to take time. The president responded to critics who insist he's not fighting hard enough to destroy the terrorist army, arguing those detractors are proposing what he's already doing. Folks want to pop off and have opinions about uh, what they think they would do, present a specific plan. But Mr. Obama brushed off calls to pour thousands of U.S. troops into Iraq and Syria, saying that would only repeat past mistakes. The president was visibly annoyed that his strategy was even questioned. Why can't we take out these bastards? Well, Jim, I just, I just spent uh, the last three questions answering that very question. We can retake territory, and as long as we leave our troops there, we can hold it. But that does not solve the underlying problem of eliminating the dynamics that are producing these kinds of violent extremist groups. The president also defended the assessment he made just days before the attacks in France that ISIS had been contained. Maintaining the terrorist army has lost ground. He denied that he misjudged ISIS from the start, despite once describing the group as the JV team. There has been an acute awareness on the part of my administration from the start that they would have the capabilities to potentially strike in the West. The president also weighed in on the discovery that at least one of the Paris attackers had posed as a Syrian refugee, insisting that the U.S. should not keep out those trying to flee ISIS. Many of these refugees are the victims of terrorism themselves. That's what they're fleeing. Slamming the door in their faces would be a betrayal of our values. Without mentioning his critics by name, Mr. Obama snapped at Jeb Bush and Ted Cruz, who urged a focus on aiding Christian migrants. When I hear folks say that, well, maybe we should just admit the Christians, but not the Muslims. We don't have religious tests to our compassion. What's the most responsible way to do that? The president also noted Marco Rubio, another GOP contender who's called for a halt to Syrian migrants to the U.S., is the son of Cuban refugees. When some of those folks themselves come from families who benefited from protection when they were fleeing political persecution? That's shameful. Time and again, the president promised the White House, along with the U.S. intelligence community, is working urgently to thwart every possible threat to the homeland.